Hey y'all, my name is Tia Stampin' Sharon. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I absolutely love learning new things and then teaching those things. So tonight we're going to be doing a watercolor pencil class. I'm going to teach you four ways and maybe a few more to use the watercolor pencils. So I hope that you enjoy it. And if you have ever used watercolor pencils, I do hope that I teach you something new. So with that, it is Thursday, uh, August the 3rd, and I am live at 7 o'clock p.m. Central. If you're watching the replay, I sure do appreciate you taking the time to watch my video. I do want to say hello to everyone who has joined me in the live chat. I have uh, tried to say hello to everyone, um, you know, but it's hard. You know, there's there's a lot of y'all and there's only one of me, but I tried to scroll back through and say hello. So if I missed you, um, I am glad that you're here and I can't wait to get started. Um, I love watercolor pencils. I think that they are great for all levels of stampers, whether you're a new stamper or you've been around a while. All of the techniques that I'm going to share with you tonight, I think are probably some of the most popular ones. However, you may not know about all of them. So there you go. There's lots of other tools that you can also use when you are using watercolor pencils. I'm going to be using tools from Stampin' Up, a aqua painter or water painter is what they're called, a blender pen, a wink of Stella, and a color lifter. We're going to have some fun. So let me spin the camera around. Um, hello, Delina. I don't think I said hello to you. Hi, Sue. Um, and Margaret, we were chatting. I don't think I said hello, but hello to you. Um, Lavina says that I look all tan. Mm -hmm. Just got back from the beach. Came back on Tuesday. Yeah, kicking and screaming. I didn't want to leave. <laughs> I did not get sunburned. I will have y'all know. My daughter is an esthetician and she was there with lots of sunscreen waving it at everybody. So um, she works at a dermatologist's office. And so, um, but I was happy. You know, it was pretty dang hot. Uh, it's been pretty dang hot here in Texas this year. So <clears throat> hello, Melinda. Hi, Michelle. Hello, Melody. Hi, Patricia. Okay. Yeah, I'm super excited. That's why I'm smiling. So I have the, oh, let me move this out of the way. If you guys need anything, you can see the link to my blog right here. Um, there's lots of things over there. And sometimes y'all uh, may not see it below the video. So I just wanted to point that out. But let's get rid of that for a minute. <clears throat> I did come home with a cold. Half of us did. What the heck? I told Renee today, I said, I thought this, I thought the salt air was supposed to make things better in that area. We all came home with summer colds. So what I have open here is the, hi, Lisa Brown, how are you? I have the annual catalog here and I have it turned to um, an area that's called um, assortment, assortments and bundles. Okay. It's on page 125. And it is right here that I wanted to talk to you about. Stampin' Up! has two sets of watercolor pencils. Someone asked me even, do we still sell them? Yeah, we do. So sometimes things like this kind of get buried, I think. I think they need to be bigger. <laughs> but <clears throat> let me grab them. There are two versions. Now, I, I just recently ordered a new set because I was like, mine don't match. It bugs me. <laughs> I've had these forever, um, but there is assortment number one and then assortment number two. In assortment number one, I believe there are, how many, 12, 13 pencils, and in the other one, there are 10. So a total of 23 watercolor pencils, okay? Now, while it tells you what's in each one, mine aren't like that. I just... I dump them all out and then I put them all back whenever I'm done. So 
Um, I do want to say hello to my friend, Michelle Batson. Uh, she is my helper. You will see a little wrench sign by her name. Uh, she is my moderator during my live, and she's going to um, answer any questions you might have or direct you to either my website or my blog if you want to know where to find any of these things that I'm talking about tonight. So the other thing that I mentioned a while ago is that I am going to be using, on page 137, I'm going to be using blender pens, water painters, and Wink of Stella. So who's used Wink of Stella with their watercolor pencils? Let me know in the chat. Let me know if you're watching the replay. All right. I'm gonna move that out of the way. Now this is my technique class and my monthly technique class. Um, will they be getting watercolor pencils with the new colors? Oh, what a great question, Lavina. I don't know, but we need some. Let's put that up. I'll ask. Um, so this is part of my um, technique series. This is volume number 16. I'm going to see if I can zoom in just a little bit. There we go. Volume 16. And um, I have been doing this now in October. It'll be two years. So I've designed this to where you could cut it apart and put it in the album that Stampin' Up! sells. This is actually the Memories and More album. Um, but we have been using it for a long time, almost two years, for our techniques and fun folds, okay? So the protector uh, photo pockets are sold separately. Now, it's really funny. This is how I started out with my technique booklets. I started in 1997. So actually this month, August is a big month. August is a big month for me. I will reach my 26 year anniversary. But when I first started, this was my little technique books that we got from Stampin' Up. That was it. <laughs> it's like, we have come a long way since then. We have learned a lot. And it was my dream to take all the knowledge that I had learned. Plus, as I learn more, and put them in a binder, okay? Virginia says, I have the watercolor pencils that come in the metal case. <gasps> oh, you do. You've got some old ones. There you go. Lois says she remembers these technique booklets. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do now have the new colors in number one, says Mary Yates. Uh-huh. Well, we'll see because I'm getting mine in. I They'll probably be here tomorrow, of course. Um, so anyway, when you add up how many techniques we've done, plus I threw in some free ones, like these were part of my classes. And then I have, I still got to fix that. We have some free ones. So we are at a total of 79 techniques. That's pretty cool. Now, the way you get these technique tutorials, uh, to either put in a three ring binder or in the, out uh, in the album, is if you place a $50 order on my Stampin' Up! website um, during the month of August, I will send you the uh, technique tutorial for free. Or after the live is over, um, then you will be able to go to my um, tutorial store over on the blog and purchase your tutorials, okay? Um, oh, wow. Anita says, I have the watercolor wonder crayons oh my gosh i forgot about those can we use coupons on pre-orders yes ma'am um cynthia still has her pencils from 2001 yay i'm so glad that you guys still have those okay all right so linda just got her new box and it has pecan pie um i guess blueberry bushel Fresh freesia. <gasps> Yay. I'm excited. I'm excited. Okay. All right. So I'm excited that I ordered those. I was like, <laughs> I'm being goofy and I ordered new ones because I wanted matching boxes. <laughs> All right. So we've introduced you to the watercolor um, pencils. 
Now I chose to stick this month um, just to two stamp sets, Petal Park and Charming Sentiments because there's no greetings in this stamp set. Um, Uh-oh, Michelle Batson's husband's not doing well. Oh, goodness. I will have to go back and find what's going on with Michelle's husband. Um, okay. And then I, um, Michelle, if you need to go, girl, we got this. I don't know what's going on, but we got this. Um, and so I am using the matching punch on some of them to make my cards that goes with the Petal Park. Okay. All right. So... <clears throat> Oh, Linda says it just says blue. Didn't know there was a plain, a plain blue. I don't think there's a plain old blue either. <laughs> so what we're going to do is here is my first card. This is done with the color lifter. Now the color lifter, some of y'all might say, uh-uh, that's what you're supposed to use with the Stampin' Up, uh, Stampin' Blends to move the alcohol inks away. Well, guess what? You can also use it on, we're going to move this out of the way. You can also use it on uh, your watercolor pencils. He broke some bones in his foot and Michelle is on server duty. Oh no, Michelle, you're fine. If he's, if he's propped up, you're fine. Don't go anywhere, but I am so sorry. He hurt. He broke his, broke some bones in his foot. You know, when your feet hurt, girl, Everything hurts. Okay. So my plan tonight is to show you on one piece of paper how they all look as we play along. I'm not going to be making the cards. I am simply going to be sharing with you what ink pad to use when you're using what tool. Okay. Now I have all those notes in my tutorial that you can get for free or if you decide to purchase it yeah we're gonna do it this way so for the for this one since I'm used if you'll keep in mind that I am using alcohol lifter so we need to use memento okay so there we go all right look they match black and white <laughs> They match. Okay, so I'm going to, um, hi, Linda Davis. You're here from Richmond, Texas. I'm glad you're here. All right, so I'm just inking up. Do this on camera. I don't know. I always like to just give a little wiggle when I'm using my um, memento or my stays on. Okay, now... <clears throat> It really doesn't matter because I'm not punching out. But a tip for you when you are punching um, your image, you might want to stamp the way the punch is. Make sense? So that you don't waste paper. Okay. Okay. So we've got that. And actually, I'm going to go it. Nope. Nope. Not going to do it. I'm going to do it the way I want you to remember it. I was going to be all like, well, let me just go ahead and do this. So if your ink pad is juicy, um, make sure that this is ink, that this ink is dry first and just tap it with your finger. If it's dry, then you're good to go on to the next step. OK, now I am zoomed in quite a bit because I want you to see the technique. So I'm going to move this out of the way and we're going to get our pencils ready. First, we're going to talk about the pencils and how to sharpen them. Sorry, I got to dump out some more. <laughs> yeah, Michelle, I'll be texting you after this lab is over, girl. I need to catch up. I know what's going on. I go off to the beach and all heck breaks loose. What the heck? Okay. Now, the pencils... You can work with them as however you prefer. I prefer them to be a little bit dull, but when they start 
uh, getting uh, too dull, of course, I want to sharpen them. If they're too pointy, I just find that they break. So this is just a cheap, you could get any kind of pencil sharpener. I've had this one for years. This is just the cheap, inexpensive one that the kiddos use for school. And guess what? School supplies are really out right now everywhere you go because in Texas, for sure, school starts in August. So um, you just, it has two different size holes. I use the smaller one and I find that it just doesn't chew up my pencil. And that's what I don't want. I don't want it to chew it up. All right. So I am going to use, I'm going to try to stick to these colors. Um, I use Calypso Coral and Gorgeous Grape. And I think it's funny because I used Balmy Blue. Whoa, that is blurry. Balmy Blue. And that is nowhere near Balmy Blue. So make sure you read what the name of the uh, color is supposed to be. Okay. Now what we want to do. Oh, and I need Daffodil Delight. What we want to do is we want to add quite a bit of color. So a concentrated amount of color. I hope y'all can see. Yeah. I guess I could zoom in a little bit more. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Up, oh, up, oh, the other way. Nope, nope, nope. Come on. Okay. So I'm just adding a concentrated amount of color. So I'm pressing very heavy. Instead of just barely doing it lightly, I'm doing it hard. Okay. Then I'm going to get my gorgeous grape. I'm going to do the same thing. You know, the color lifter lasts forever. I do have two. You know, I ordered an extra one to have on hand because I didn't want it. I didn't want to like run out, but I can't even remember the last time I bought one. They just last a long time. <clears throat> okay, and then we want, yep, Calypso Coral. Looked pretty orange there to me. So we're just adding a little bit of color right there. And this is, <laughs> Debbie's right, this is when heavy-handed works. And girl, you know me, I'm a heavy-handed girl. Everything I do is heavy-handed. <laughs> um, you know, I love the watercolor pencils, but I like the bolder version of the watercolor pencils. I did get a summer cold while I was on vacation, so I do need a drink of water. Virginia says, I use blender pens with my colored pencils. I never thought of using the color lifter. Virginia, I taught you something new. All right, so we're going to get our, whoops, I need one more thing. This over here. Slide you out of the way. <clears throat> yeah, we'll do it down here. So I just have some scrap paper here, okay? And let's move my pencils. We've got these over here. So I'm going to take the um, the more barrel tip of my blender pen, my lifter pen. This is not a blender pen. You know, when I was typing the instructions, I kept calling blender pen, blender. I, I was all over the place with the names. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start in the dark. And I'm just going to push that color out. And then when it starts to get close to the edge, I'm going to wipe off my tip because I really want it very light on the edge, but it just blends it perfectly. Let me do a few more petals. We're going to push out. We're going to come in from the dark, push it, push it, push it, wipe it off, finish it up with a very light edge. Okay. And you can always go back and add some more. Okay. Pushing it out. I think y'all can see me. Just keep on pushing it out. Just want a very light tip. You know, I was looking at my Christmas cactus in the kitchen window today, 
And I noticed that the tips of the of my Christmas cactus is red. I was like, oh, I should have done that on some of my on some of my um, greenery on my cards. <laughs> um, I didn't notice it because I've been on vacation, so I didn't notice that they had turned red on me. So, like I said, I'm just wiping it off. You can blend however you want. Um, but if you can see what I'm doing, I'm, I've got a dark, a little bit darker and very pale on the tips. I think that's so cool. Don't you? Oh, Virginia says her hubby likes my nails. Tell him thank you, Virginia. <laughs> uh, Joe says, I didn't know either on the color lifter. Yay. Uh, Teresa, welcome home from your beach trip. I never thought about using a color lifter. I am over the moon excited that you guys have never done this and I'm teaching you something new. I learned it not too well. It's been a while, but I was like, I need to, I need to teach that. So when I was planning this month's class, I decided, you know what? There's some really fun things to do with watercolor pencils. Normally on my technique class, I um, teach y'all different things um, and, and don't just stick to one product, okay? Now, this one right here is a little bit light to me. So I'm going to come over here, get some darkness, and take it over there. Look at that. We can borrow. Okay. All right. I'm going to do the same thing here. And if you want to, you could even like do a couple of petals, wipe off your tip, take it out to the edge. Just have fun with this. Just go rogue, y'all. Just go rogue with these, with these watercolor pencils because it really is a lot of fun. Now, I'm not taking it, <coughs> excuse me, all the way to the edge because that would just be coloring it. Helen says she likes it better than the blender as I never have any of my coloring blend well. Okay, so perhaps after when we get to that, Helen, we can help you with that. Um, I'm using blender pens later on another card. <coughs> uh, why? Why is there such thing as a cold? It's annoying. Grandbabies came with it, I think, and so adults got it. <coughs> Lavina says they look hand painted. I'm so artsy, aren't I? All right, now when you're changing colors, like I'm going from blue to Calypso, really make sure that tip is clean because that would just muddy it up. Now on the lighter colors, I find that it lightens kind of by itself towards the edge. Maybe it's just not as much pigment, maybe. I don't know. Okay. How are we looking? Mary Yates, I greatly dislike colds too. Um, Joe says she's going to do that tomorrow. I'm so glad. All right. Now we're going to write something right here. I should have grabbed. Let's see if I have. I do. I have a Sharpie. So I just want you to see the difference. And uh, something that I recommend too, like remember I used Memento, okay? So Memento and Lifter, okay? So just so you know what we're doing. All right, let's see if I can wow you again. <laughs> maybe I should have ended with the wow. Now, I think, I think maybe, I think I've got a couple more wows up my sleeve. All right. We're going to do this again. And I am using, I don't know, should I, should I keep the Wink Estella for last? Yeah, we'll do the Wink Estella. <clears throat> So with the Wink of Stella, I'm also going to use Memento. 
Okay. Now, Memento ink, you know, you always want to make sure that your ink pads are nice and, and juicy and good. Um, I ink mine up often because I use them often. So I think it depends. It does depend too on what climate you're in. When I was in Arizona, girl, I was inking them every month because they went, they would dry out because there's no humidity. Virginia says, I think I need some newer pencils. Mm -hmm. Girl, after I found out that I'm, I, I did good by um, ordering some new ones, I'm happy. Debbie says, love me some Winkus Della. Hi, Cindy Nielsen. I'm so glad you're here. All right, so we're going to move this, the blender out of the way, the lifter out of the way, and now we're going to, y'all ready for this? Can you see the Wink of Stella? Woohoo! I had so much fun making this card. Um, you know, anytime I've used this stamp set, I've kind of kept just a cluster, but this time I went... I went rogue, mm -hmm. went rogue, did some extra stamping, had a good time making this card. But there again, we're going to be blending, look at those petals, with the Wink of Stella. Okay, thank you, Debbie. She says, gorgeous. All right, on this one, I used, also used Gorgeous Grape and Melon Mambo. I thought I used... Maybe I use Calypso. No. I, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to pick another color. It doesn't matter. We're just going to go with it. All right. So once again, this is Bermuda Bay. So once again, we're going to give a lot, um, a concentrated amount around our centers. So basically the same technique. You know, Kathleen, we used to sell it in other colors, but we just have the clear version now. Um, I think we used to have gold. I didn't know they had more than just two colors. That's good to know. Okay. And then we're going to do Melon Mambo. When, we, when this color first came out, um, I had a friend over and her daughter kept telling me that it was Melon Mambo, not Mambo. <laughs> so I'm just adding some concentrated amount of pencil. Now these are watercolor pencils. These are not pencils that the kids use in the art supply section at a store. These are Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils. If you're just now joining me, um, I am using two different versions, assortment one and assortment two. And I have just dumped them all out on my table and I'm just using them. Okay. So again, you know, we got to have some yellow centers. I am not doing anything per se. I did not do anything to the centers over here, um, but we're going to add some Wink Stella over here. All right. So now we're going to take our Wink Stella, And when you are, oh, okay, Kathleen. I did not know they had that many colors. Um, when you are using the Wink of Stella, you have to squeeze the barrel up here to get that flowing. And I am squeezing it over, you could squeeze it over paper or anything, but these are just those makeup rounds, okay? Um, Denise in Dallas, just getting on, can't wait to go back um, and watch the whole thing. I love watercolor pencils too, Denise. Okay. So I'm shaking this down. Let's see how we're doing. I don't know. We may finally be out. There we go. We've got some. All right. So I'm going to start with the big one first. And I'm coming from the center and I'm pushing out all the way out. <clears throat> and the alcohol in the Wink Costella, which is similar to the lifter over here that we did, um, it is making it lighter as I go. Okay. Now I am doing the whole petal. I didn't stop like I did on the other one. 
I'm just taking it all the way to the edge. Okay. Now, <clears throat> you do want to wipe off that tip. We want to do a little bit on the in on our yellow. And then we're going to do the same thing to our Bermuda Bay. And see how quick this is? It's just so pretty. Yes, I hear what y'all are saying. I can hear you saying, well, why don't you just color the whole thing and just use um, the Wink of Stella? You could, but I wanted to blend. And I wanted to teach you that you could blend with um, the, the blending, I mean, the Wink of Stella. Anita says, do you need to replace the inside cap on the Wink of Stella after each use? Are you talking about that black ring that came with it, Anita? No, you don't. When you're, after you have opened it, I don't have a new one, <clears throat> excuse me, a new one to show you, but that ring is right here. <coughs> you're going to make sure that you do that click and that um, it seals it, okay? You don't have to put the black ring on anymore. Throw that thing away. All right, did we clean our brush? And let's go to the gorgeous green. How fun. I love this technique. I love it. Okay, we're gonna clean it off. Oh, did we do our center? Okay. So <clears throat> this was also memento, memento, and wink of Stella. How fun. Okay. Wink of Stella should be stored brush side up or it can clog. I store mine flat. I store all pens markers flat. You know, a pencil holder is meant for pencils, not anything that has liquid in it. Okay. All right. So now what's next? We are going to do one more. And this is probably the way that most people use their watercolor pencils when they get them. Uh, if you're using Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils and all of that. Um, Kate, the instructions say to store it upright. Interesting. So Mary stores hers upside down. Kate stores hers um, right side up and I store mine flat. <laughs> well, <clears throat> I will say that by storing it flat, it hasn't hurt it and it's lasted. So. Um, all right, we're going to do this one. Now this one is different. We are not using Memento ink. Okay. We are going to be using stays on because stays on will not bleed when we add water or a liquid that's not alcohol based. Okay, so we are not using, um, <clears throat> okay. I know Cheryl, Stampin' Up's watercolor pencils are fabulous. Now, a lot, who was it that told me that they use the stays on ink pad to stain their photopolymer stamps so they don't lose them? Brilliant. Um, but I seem to do this on my own, so I didn't do it on purpose, but it just happened that way. Thank you, Cheryl Ann. Beth stores hers flat. I don't know. We may have to do some research, huh? What are we? Well, Kate Rat says the instructions say to store them with the brush side up, Kate. Is that what you're saying? This to part up. <clears throat> Linda says, okay, after the live, I got to change the direction of my Wink Costello. All right, so we're going to do this again. And we're going to do this over here. Okay. 
And actually I'm gonna do it twice because I wanna show you side by side how it looks. I'm not leaving much room to write. Okay, so Kate says she remembers on the instruction sheet that they should be stored brush side up. I guess I don't read directions. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to say stays on. And blender pen. I don't write well sideways. Stays on. And water brush. Okay. This is so pretty. <laughs> I just wanted y'all to hopefully see the differences as I finish up. I really wish I hadn't done that. That was, now I've ruined my artwork. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do, let's pick some different colors. We're going to go with real red and eh, coastal cabana and I should have got out my color chart huh we'll go with these two colors <clears throat> okay Mariette says she doesn't think she ever reads directions. You know what? I'm going to stick to these colors. I said I was going to do that. I'm going to, I think I did do Coastal Cabana. Yep. Coastal Cabana, Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight, and I did do Calypso Coral. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So on these, we're <clears throat> ah, on these, we're not going to be adding a whole lot of color. We're just going to um, color them. And I've decided I needed to sharpen my pencil. Bye, Lavina. Take care, my friend. Okay. So I'm just going to color quickly. This is the part I love, love, love. We're just gonna color our flowers. And when you're using watercolor pencils, you typically will have stroke marks and that's why we need to blend them with something. So tonight is all about blending tools with the watercolor pencils, okay? And um, we so far we've done the uh, Stampin' Up Color Lifter that is alcohol-based. Now let's do this one like this. And we've used the Wink of Stella. And now we're going to use two tools that are probably the most popular to use. But if you're new to watercolor pencils, you may not have used any, so I wanted to cover these. Now, keep in mind, there are other tools on the market that you could use for watercolor pencils. Since I don't sell them on my store, I don't really, I don't even know how to use some of them. <laughs> so I, I don't know, I can't help you with those, but there are others on the market. Okay, so I don't know. Let's see, Jackie Scott says, so then you use memento with alcohol base and you stays on with water base. That is correct, girl. You got it. Okay. So I don't know if you can see like the stroke marks, you know, it's, it's kind of hard to see on the camera, but you can, you know what I'm talking about. If you've used watercolor pencils, you know exactly what I'm talking about. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our blender pens. These come three in a pack. And what did I say? They were on page 125. They're in the catalog, or you can find them on my uh, online store. They are dual tipped. And the way I prefer to use this 
Anna Garman says she's never thought about using other things to get rid of the lines on her watercolor pencils. Well, Anna, my friend, I hope I have helped you tonight. So there are two tips to the blender pens, okay? Now, back when these first started, um, I would tell people, <laughs> you all three of y'all don't have to buy a pack. Just get, just get one pack and share it. Well, we quickly learned that you do. If you're doing a lot of coloring, um, these tend to stain, okay? The tips tend to stain and they need a little bit of time to recover. So if you're doing a lot of coloring, a lot of blending, um, I recommend that you cap it, flip the end, and then go with um, another blender pen in the pack. Kate Wright is also helping us out again. Once again, she says the blender pens are supposed to be stored flat. I store mine flat. Except for tonight, I had them ready over in my holder. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so I like to just use quick little strokes when I'm using mine. And I'm just... Filling it in and getting the stroke marks, the pencil marks out. And basically, I'm just coloring with the blender pen. You do want to clean that tip. And then, oh, don't touch that. <laughs> We're going over here. I can just see me messing this whole show up. Good grief. Hey, but at least... Y'all could all find me tonight, right? I didn't I didn't have the video as unlisted like I did before I left on vacation. Good grief. I'm still kicking myself. I've never done that. All right. Now, I'm not liking... See how it's stained? I'm going to go ahead and switch ends because I'm going to a lighter color. And I'll show you. Can you see a little bit of muddy right there? We don't want muddy. No muddy. Okay. So I'm just going to try to clean that up. Nobody's going to know it, but y'all. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Kate Wright says she reads instructions. Hold on. Because if I don't, usually I end up regretting it. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Oh, we didn't do our centers. Got to do our centers. No, needs, no need to do any blending there. We're just coloring really hard. Got to have our centers. Okay. Okay. So now we've got, we've used the blender pen and now we're going to use a water brush. Now the water brushes also come three in a pack. I think that's funny. Things are better with threes, I guess. Um, but these do have different tips and I like to try to get the thinnest tip if I can. Let's see. I can't tell between these two. There's that one. Yeah, this one. So we, I really want a very thin tip and I don't, Ooh, that is dirty. Why are you dirty? Now I, when I'm using the water painters, I keep a glass of water on my table. I'm just going to clean this off. It was looking a little dirty there. Um, you also don't want to have a whole lot of water. There's no reason to have a whole lot of water. This is not really water coloring we're just blending with the water brush Roxanne says gonna order the watercolor pencils on this month's order um Roxanne I don't think you're gonna regret it they're so fun ah see it's too wet why is it too wet we have it unscrewed see I'm gonna show you I got a blob there I don't want that much water. Let's see if we can get that off. Okay, that's helping. So we're just adding water to blend this out. Now when this dries, there are two different shades. There's a difference of shading between these two devices, tools, whatever they're called. Let's get our card back in. So I need a pointer. Let's just use a pencil. Do you see how dark this one is compared to this flower? This Bermuda Bay or Coastal Cabana, whatever that Bermuda Bay, to this Bermuda Bay. Okay. 
Um, <clears throat> this one, I believe this one was, these two are done with the water and these two were done with the blender pen. So you get a softer look. It's not as bold. So y'all know me, I like the bold, but I wanted to show you the difference between using the two tools that are commonly used with water, um, with the uh, water painters. Anita, great question. Anita asked, what paper am I using? I am using the basic white thick. You could use, you either need to use the thick or you need to use the uh, watercolor paper, the fluid paper. But I find when I use the paper, when I'm stamping detailed little images like this, I don't get a good image. So I don't prefer that. Um, but good question, Anna. Is it better to use the thick paper when water coloring? Um, same, same thing, Lisa. The thick will help. Um, it will not beat up and get chewed up is what I say uh, by the water. And since we added water here and technically the blender pen is not water, but it's water based. Well, you know, so these two is too much moisture to just put on regular uh, basic white paper. Um, let's see, using the water gives you a vibrant color. Yes, it does, Debbie. Yes, it does. Okay, gosh, we have one more to do. Now we are done with these and hopefully this is a wow for y'all. Hopefully this is a wow. I'm bringing in basic black cardstock. Let's move my water out of the way. We don't need you anymore. Thank you for your service. And I'm going to be using the basic white or whisper white. I think this, this is an old one. So mine still says whisper white. But when you purchase the basic white, uh, un, it's uninked, <clears throat> excuse me, and it comes with an ink refill that you will ink up your pad. Okay. So I'm going to open this up. We're going to, whoo, whenever I do that, I think it's, I don't know, it's weird how my camera does the lights. Must have gotten too close. Actually, let me turn this over. I just want to make sure I got a good inked image. <clears throat> so I'm using the greenery from the Petal Park stamp set. Okay. Does stays on take longer to dry than memento? <clears throat> Katie, all the inks take a little bit longer to dry if your ink pad is very juicy. So I feel like memento and stays on are kind of the same consistency. They're not the same type of pad as our colored pads, you know, are definitely not this, but our other ink pads. Um, but I just find best thing to do is tap it with your finger and see if, um, if it's dry. Yes, ma'am, Debbie, I am using the white on black. So let's, let's just do another one. We might have more fun with this because remember how I said my uh, Christmas cactus had some red tips. We might try that and see what it looks like. Are you doing the white? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's see. Um, believe I like using the water from the brush best. Beth, between all of them so far or just those two techniques? Yeah. You guys let me know. Uh, what techniques have you liked so far? Which one's your favorite? Let me know in the chat or let me know if you're watching the replay. Um, let's see. Joe says, I have the old boho blossoms. I will try them on these, on these techniques. Yay. Okay. <clears throat> so thank you, Debbie, for that. Um, telling me, telling them that this is going to be stunning. All right. I'm going to move this out of the way. I don't know. Something is funky with my lighting. My hands look weirdo. <laughs> I don't know. It happens every time I use black. Watch things settle down. I bring back the black. And things get crazy. I don't know. Something in that camera setting. I got to work on that. Okay. Um, 
Risa says she likes the wink, the wink of Stella. She would have never thought of that. Michelle says she likes them all. She can never pick just one. Now, the one thing you want to do is this has to be dry. And this is craft ink. So I am going to use the heat gun and I'm going to dry it. No, Jackie, this is not the chalkboard technique. This is something different because we're going to be using the watercolor pencils. Margaret says she likes them all. Y'all are going to be so shocked when I do what I do with the, with the white. <laughs> because I haven't showed you the card. How funny. I tried to show y'all the card first, but I'm glad I didn't. Because this might be a real surprise. So you do want to make sure it's dry. I do prefer to just let it dry on its own. But we ain't got time for that. So we got to help speed it up. It doesn't matter. It's just a matter of preference. Virginia doesn't have a favorite. They each have their own use. I'm waiting to see what you do with the white on black. So like I said, I prefer to stamp and let it dry on its own. But it's fine. I mean, you can't. It's It doesn't matter. Susan says they are all beautiful. Thank you, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get my ink, my ink. No, that is not ink. This is watercolor pencils. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to go with cherry cobbler. <coughs> Y'all don't know. I've done really well. I'm not coughing. <laughs> Thank y'all. I'm so glad you love them. Okay. Y'all ready for this? We are simply using the white as a base for our green. Because if this wasn't here, it doesn't look the same. So you could leave a little bit of the white if you want. Which I'm trying to do around the edges so it makes it look lined. <clears throat> this is another one that I'm pressing hard on. <clears throat> I had to say something, didn't I? <laughs> I am making a mystery, says Debbie. <laughs> So, <coughs> uh, why did I say something? <coughs> Can y'all see? <coughs> Here's my card. <coughs> so the leaves were done like this. Thank you, Mary. I was I was determined that the show was going to go on. All right, now I'm going to try. Remember my little trick that I said that my um, Christmas cactus had red tips. Let's just see what it looks like. Just using a little cherry cobbler. And then we're going to add the green. You know, blending too is a lot of fun on some of those other tips that I, uh, techniques that I already showed you. So that's kind of different. I don't know. What do y'all think? It actually looks like the tips of my Christmas cactus. So there you go. It is very cool. And I just, I just, as far as the flowers go, I stamped them normally with Melon Mambo, Daffodil Delight. I finished off my card with, um, by embossing, 
um, you know, because it just looks so stark. I think this is really one of my favorite cards. I loved all the techniques, but as far as the card goes, I love the starkness uh, with the black. And so um, thank you, Sharon. I agree. I think this is one of my favorites. Um, it's just super fun. So I do want to challenge y'all, um, <clears throat> especially when you're doing these two techniques. Can maybe add a, well, let me just show you what I'm trying to say. How, what time is it? Ah, we're almost at the end. <laughs> let me just show you really quick. <clears throat> Beth says, well, I've changed my mind. I love the color on the white. Um, I will have to do this. Yay. I'm so glad. Okay. Let's get this real quick. Okay. So remember we need memento if we're doing wink of Stella and the color lifter. Um, we're not going to be doing these. So we want our memento ink. I just want to show you really quick what I'm trying to, what I'm trying to explain. Y'all, there seriously is a bag of cough drops right beside me. <laughs> I'm like, oh, can I make it through without coughing? Linda says, beautiful. I've never done that with the black before. Yay. So I've showed, I've shared some new things for some of y'all. And that makes me happy. You know, some of these techniques have been around forever. Um, but they get forgotten. So hopefully... <coughs> <clears throat> excuse me. Hopefully I have taught you something new. All right. So I'm just going to color one flower and what colors do we want? Um, I am going to get, where is my, okay. Where did daffodil delight go? Oh, slid over here. And then I think, I think what will contrast really good. Let's just get our cherry cobbler. So this is what I was saying. We're going to add some concentrated. I didn't know what a word to use for that. Just very heavy handed. Okay. Put it on thick. <laughs> don't be, don't be skimpy with your watercolor pencils. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of yellow. Daffodil delight. You know, I could do another class on watercolor pencils. There's that many things out there to do with these. So if you invest in these, you're not going to be disappointed. There's so many things to do. If you can only do one, um, I would start with assortment one, number one, because I'm assuming, okay, those of you who got the new assortment with the new colors, was that assortment number one or number two? Beth Bruner, I hope your cold is better very soon. Thank you, my friend. I do too. All right, so we're going to pick, let's see. Let's do the Wink of Stella since it's here. Am I taking vitamin D3, zinc, and vitamin C? Yes. I'm also taking Ningxia, which is another product used for, and I'm also taking something called immune boost. Anyway. All right. Thank you guys though. I appreciate it. I am better. It's just not gone. <laughs> all right. So I'm going to take, let's see. I want to make sure you see it. I'm going to take, and I'm just pushing. So it ends up being a different color. So almost a, I don't know, maybe these two colors were bad because it's not quite as yellow on the tip as I wanted. Make sure you clean that tip off. I'm just pushing, pushing, pushing. It's almost making it look a little brown. Oh, that's better. Maybe don't come all the way. Maybe just take the yellow to the tip. Yeah, I like that color better. Y'all, it's just paper. So if you mess up, guess what? So what I did was... <clears throat> On these two right here, it was just too muddy for me. So I just took the Daffodil Delight and took it to the edge. But if I tip this sideways on these petals, there's no Wink of Stella. So now what I'm gonna do is just, I'm gonna add some Wink of Stella so it looks the same, okay? I could kind of push it out a little bit if I want to. 
You're just blending there. That looks good. I don't know. I hope y'all can see that on camera. It's always so hard. Okay. There we go. So pretty. So pretty. Here's our cards for tonight. Oh, I am zoomed in way too much for y'all to see them all. And then this one. Did I show y'all that one? Yeah, I did. Okay. Make sure I showed you all the cards. Um, have fun with your watercolor pencils. If you ever need any assistance, you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would be honored to be your demonstrator. I've been doing what I love and sharing it for the past 25 years, almost 26 years. On August the 27th is my stamp anniversary. So thank you guys for showing up tonight during the live. I appreciate it. Um, I think you guys enjoyed my technique class for tonight. It's quite different than what I've been doing, but there's just so much to do with these fun watercolor pencils and they're not intimidating. Please don't think these are intimidating. So um, thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Anita. I'm so glad. Mary Catherine says, very good information tonight. Thank you for sharing. Now go get some rest. Yes, ma'am, I will. <clears throat> for those of you who are my mystery stampers, I will not have mystery stamping on Monday. Um, but I'll be back the following Monday. And next Thursday, I believe, is our stamp along. So if you're on my newsletter, <clears throat> excuse me, watch for the information that you need for the stamp along. So have a fabulous weekend, everybody. And I will see you soon. Bye, y'all.